Today on Gun Talk Nation, we're talking with our buddy Steve Leminoff with ATN. We're going to talk about how to sight in your rifle with only one or two shots. And then you're just done, ready to go to the field. Also, of course, night vision and thermal and all those cool toys. Gun Talk Nation is brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters, Springfield Armory, Timney Triggers, the world's finest triggers, Hodgton, the gunpowder people, and Meprolite. Hey, welcome in to Gun Talk Nation. Today on Gun Talk Nation, we're talking with our good buddy, Steve Lemonoff from ATN. Steve, how you doing? Fantastic, Ryan. How are you? Welcome in, man. It's uh, We've known Steve for years. We've been working with him on the ATN stuff. Obviously, ATN, you think of night vision, you think of smart HD optics, you think of thermal. Um, but you're a shooter, you're a hunter, so it's always just good to catch up, man. I mean, Absolutely, how, yeah. are, how are things over there? You guys have been cranking out all kinds of cool stuff lately. Yeah, we have, you know, and we've been having a great season. Our pro staff has, have been having a great season. You know, we've got some great content from them, you know, from their deer hunts, from their hog hunts, coyote hunts. You know, uh, your audience can take a look at our YouTube channel or our Facebook page and take a look at all those cool uh, videos that yeah. uh, our pro staff create. I'm looking forward to actually getting in the field myself and doing some hunting in Louisiana and maybe uh, even joining you guys at the FTW Ranch uh, oh, yeah. sometime in spring. I got fantastic. an invite uh, from another channel partner to go uh, hunting and uh, shooting in Texas as well sometime in March. So I'm really anxious to get out there, squeeze the trigger a couple, you know, a little bit. <laughs> yep. You know, I got the itch. Have, haven't uh, you know shot uh, anything in terms of like steel or paper or or just hunted in the wild so it's been too really long want to get out there <laughs> yeah it's been too long way too long you guys that's one of the things with both the thermal and the um the excite uh, series family of, of products you can shoot video with it and yep. you're seeing video through the scope so you could see the crosshairs you see the animal you see you see what the hunter is seeing, or the shooter if you're shooting targets, yeah. and it's it's a different it's different than like watching a hunting show. Oh um, yeah, oh, you know yeah. you. This is like it's like you are the hunter when you watch these. I love watching these, and and I do. I follow ATN on Facebook and YouTube, and I see all the stuff you guys post, and it's like it's mesmerizing because you could see that moment. And I this is what I do. This is the game I play. I'm watching the video and you see the crosshairs and you're like, yeah, okay, there's, there's the hog. And then he's checking <laughs> to see the other hogs. You can see him scanning because, of course, with when you're, you know, it's night vision or, or thermal at night, you're using the scope to be able to see. So it's not just like in a regular day, day, daytime situation. So you're actually scanning with the scope and you and the viewer is seeing all this stuff. And then finally you're like, yeah, he's on the hog. Okay. Yep. Okay. Move up to the neck. Okay. Right behind that ear. And you get to kind of you're play along. Basically and become, be yeah. Hunter. You're becoming a backseat driver of, of oh, the hunting it's so video. Great. Oh, yeah. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We're really uh, proud to, you know, kind of introduce that feature into the hunting world. I think we were the very first ones to do that in the digital optics realm. And, you know, a lot of our products do have that recording capability, like our, you know, Thor 4, X8 4K Pro, X8 LTV, uh, some, some of our uh, thermal monoculars and especially, you know, binoculars for sure, where, yeah, you, you're in the moment. You're, you're seeing that first person perspective mm -hmm. of the hunt. You're seeing the reticle. You're seeing everything up to the shot, after the shot. So you know that, you know, you, you have to be, you know, a steward of the land to make sure you take a clean ethical shot and make sure not to wound the animal. You know, we're very, very big proponents of, you know, the shooting sports and being ethical hunters and being stewards of the land here at ATN. So having that perspective brings a whole element, new element, I think, to, and a new dimension to hunting. You know, some as you mentioned, you know, the hunting shows, you have a camera crew, you see the person, you know, looking at the scope, you're seeing the animal out in the distance. Mm -hmm. It's a different experience. It's different. Right. When you're seeing uh, the perspective of the actual hunter, your adrenaline, you know, if you're a shooter or a hunter, your adrenaline starts kind of uh, rising and you're there with them and you're, mm -hmm. you, you know, you, you think you're, you're there experiencing that same moment. And essentially you are because you're seeing exactly what that person is seeing 
through your optic. So have you, as I'm going to tell a story, but as you, as I do to think about any videos that you've seen lately, cause you have the, I, like I said, or before we started, you guys have ATN optics out there in the wild all the time. And yeah. really a lot of the hunting, like a, like hog hunting is a, a year round thing for in a lot of States, but we are in the hunting season right now. So I'm sure you're seeing a lot of interesting footage. I remember one that I saw, um, from our buddy, Cy, he's, mm -hmm. he's walking along this, I think it's probably a levee in like a rice field. Um, and you can almost kind of see one little hot spot through the thermal, but he shoots one time mm -hmm. and all of a sudden the levee erupts. There's there's like 20 hogs just go whoosh and they all get up and start running and then he's on one boom boom and you can see of course with hogs a little bit different right. because you're trying to reduce those populations because they're right. such an invasive species so i mean running shots on hogs you don't have to evaluate whether it's a sow or a, a boar or that kind of, some of those yeah. things you can just go ahead and shoot and you also because you guys work with so many good hunters it's interesting what they do on moving targets and that kind of thing. You can kind of learn a little bit of what yeah. to do and what not to do from watching some of this footage. Yeah, lead, leading the target, being patient, not, you know, jumping the gun, you know, knowing your distances by landmarks. You learn, you know, mm -hmm. hunting is about learning. It's it's a lot about learning, uh, you know, tricks of the trade, uh, you know, environment plays a fa big factor in, in hunting, you know, how to navigate the woods, uh, you know, the marsh, the swamp lands, you know, setting up properly. All those things are, you know, scouting, knowing where to find the game. All those things are very important uh, if you're a hunter and learning those things to be successful in the field, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'm fortunate I don't have to do a lot of those things because uh, the people I go hunting with are experts and take me, you know, on the spots where they know there's a, you know, more or less target rich environment. And, but, you know, I, I'm still warning. I would call myself still an amateur in terms of hunting, shooting. It's a different story. I, I've been around, the, you know, the shooting sports for a while since a very young age. So I, I love shooting. I, I, you know, I know how to set up a scope, the ballistics of, you know, rounds, you know, I know how to do all those things. But hunting is new to me per se, uh, but I love the learning experience. I love to learn new things all the time. And I learn from our pro staff all the time. They're, they're fantastic. And yeah, uh, we've seen some incredible footage. Um, basically, um, Josh and Holly, they were hunting. I think Holly took uh, a nice buck with uh, our x 4 k Pro with an Abel on a crossbow. Oh wow! Uh, and 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 filmed that. Um, and that was a day hunt a, because we, it was a day we hunt. think night hunting, but obviously no, it was a day hunt and captured on you know on the x 4 k uh, we've had other uh, pro staff members having their kids, you know, using the Exit LTV take uh, a buck uh, or a doe uh, during the you know deer hunting season. Uh, some other pro staff members, uh, ram hunting, um, you know, in season, uh, and other deer hunts. So yeah, there's been some great footage, uh, you know, provided to us by our pro staff members, uh, which we value them immensely. There, it's a great team of guys and girls. Uh, that, uh, you know, help us out with content creation and, uh, you know, showing the capabilities of our products in the field in true life conditions. You know, these are not staged hunts or perfect, you know, uh, conditions with mm -hmm. no wind, sun, you know, these are all types of conditions, rain, fog, sleet, sometimes below uh, zero uh, uh, cold uh, conditions uh, where they hunting either hogs, uh, coyotes, uh, deer, elk, um, you know, all sorts of different animals, uh, you know, throughout the year, basically. And you mentioned setting up the gun and you guys have a very cool feature and sighted in, but I wanted to, we're going to take a quick break. And then when we come back, we're going to talk about sighting your gun in only two shots. New from Smith & Wesson is the M&P 2.0. This time it's in 10 millimeter. Four different models, two different barrel lengths. The M&P 2.0 offers an improved trigger. They actually have a flatty now. The enhanced grip texture, very aggressive grip texture. Of course, the M&P interchangeable palm swell grip inserts that they made so popular. Check it all out at smith-wesson.com. Also, Remington Ammunition, the Golden Sabre Bonded Defensive and Tactical Handgun Ammunition. These are lead core, 
hot bonded to a brass jacket, which makes the whole thing hold together, but perform very reliably and very consistently. Um, this is technology that produces match grade accuracy and the optimal terminal performance. Available in 9, 40, 45, 357 SIG. Check it out at remington.com slash handgun. Okay, so I call it the two shot zero method. You call, you guys call it the one shot zero. Um, either way, it's the same idea. And there was yeah. this th this idea has been around for a long time. So what I'd like to do is I'll describe the old method, which right. is a little bit more difficult, and then you can kind of describe how you guys have put some some high tech uh, solution some tech behind this. this. Sure. Right. Um, right. So the old way of how do you sight in your gun in only two shots? Because most of us take a lot. Bore sighter, yeah. you know, laser bore sighter or bore sighter. That's kind of the the kind of cheating way of doing it. <laughs> but you, if you know your ballistics right. and your range, you take a shot and you move your, you know, your turrets to win the general elevation and you take another shot and you hit the spot, right? But the tricky part is this. So <laughs> if, you're, if your gun is, it has to be first, it has to be hitting the target, right? You have to be at least on paper. And yeah. so you take that shot and that shot is three inches high and three inches right. Right. Well, what you would do if, with a regular optic would be, you, you almost need two people to do this. You would have to hold your gun looking through the scope on the bullseye, keep the crosshairs perfectly on the bullseye yep. while moving, while adjusting your scopes, which is hard to do with one person. It can be done. Well, but if you have like a, like a gun vice, you could a do perfect that, gun right? vice. It, it could be done, but right. so you would, so what you want is you want the bullet to go where the crosshairs are. So right. another way to look at it would be you put that first bullet hole, then you move the crosshairs to where the bullet hole is. And now right. it accomplishes that goal. So right. you'd, you'd sit there and you'd go up, 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 up. Okay, over, 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 over. And now your crosshairs provided, are on Provided that you know your, what your clicks equate to and you're, you're, you're doing the right math and not going the opposite way because that right. happens also. Right. <laughs> but you can watch it in your scope maybe because you're trying to hold it still and all this stuff. Right. So then essentially you shoot another one to confirm and you're sighted in. Um, now what... ATN has done is develop this into the technology of the scope. I mean, right. how, you basically end up when you put it in that in that setting, you end up with two reticles. Is that how you describe it, Steve? Yes, it is. Basically, you're seeing two reticles. So, you know, I, I would recommend, you know, to make it easier, if you have a laser bore sighter, you could see it through the scope, right? So you line up your reticle, your main reticle, which is like the red reticle on the bullseye. You would see where the laser bore sighter is pointing at. Then you would move the secondary, the white reticle, to that laser bore sighter at you know at the range uh, that you that you're basically sighting it in, and you save it. Then you take the shot to confirm and you should be on target. Or conversely, you take the shot, you know, holding the reticle just as you described on the bullseye perfectly. You move the reticle, the second reticle, while holding the first reticle directly on the bullseye. You move the second reticle to that point of impact from the first shot using the electronic keypad. You save and you take a confirming shot to make sure you are zero. Yeah, and, and so, I guess so it's essentially it's the same thing. Basically. It, it accomplishes the same thing, same thing, but it yeah. makes it a little bit easier because what you have is you put it into the one shot zero mode and that's mm -hmm. when it'll give you that second reticle. So you can it's kind of like you can still see where your reticle where your, is where, where your ref reference and now it's point like this is. is where it's going to be as you exactly. move it, which is exactly. amazing. So right, right. It's so right. cool. Um, and it, and it really does work and you can really do it in a couple shots and you're sighted in, um, saves a ton of time, makes you look cool at the range <laughs> and saves you a lot of mon uh, money because you're saving money on ammo. This is true. This is true. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think the the one shot zero is, is a great thing that obviously it's a feature that is put into the optic because these are people who shoot and people who hunt, like you guys are shooters and hunters, right? Right. Absolutely. And we want to save ammo because ammo is expensive. Uh, you want to zero your scope quickly and efficiently so you could go out and shoot and hunt and, you know, and have fun. You know, nobody likes to be frustrated, you know, sitting there 
spending countless, you know, whatever hours mm -hmm. and ammo trying to zero their scope and playing around with, you know, is the scope a quarter MOA? Is it one eighth MOA or one sixth MOA? Am I am I going right? You know, when I click right, is it going right or is it going left? Because some scopes, you know, it's it's reverse because of the way they arrange their mm -hmm. turret setup. So it could, I have experienced it personally, the frustration of zeroing a D scope. So going to a digital scope and having that first, you know, reticle as a point of reference where you keep, uh, where you, you know, initially, and then moving it to where you want it, it helps a lot because it really gives you a reference point and it, get, it eliminates the frustration of not knowing where that you know analog reticle in the traditional glass scope would actually go yeah yeah absolutely hey we'll be right back Meprolite Optics, the RDS Pro V2 military grade red dot sight. 16 levels of brightness for any lighting condition day or night can be ordered with several different reticle options a dot or a bullseye red or green I kind of like that option you did kind of customize it um, thousands of hours of use from a single double a battery picatinny rail mount so you just slap it on and go i like it when they make the mounting of optics easy check it out at meprolite.com also springfield armory their newest handgun is the sa35 this is their version of the high power the old browning high power well they revitalized it with a modern take forged frame and slide checkered walnut grips and now it's a 15 round capacity instead of the old 13 round capacity made in the usa check it out at springfield-armory.com all right steve i wanted to talk about your handhelds because i automatically always think about rifle scopes thermals night vision all this stuff but you have a bunch of different things that are not weapon mounted optics um right. thinking about you have binos there and i know you guys have some handhelds mm -hmm. um why do people seem to like those so much are those the same features that go into the other thing like you can record video with that right uh with the binoculars yes uh both our thermal and the day night binoculars you can record a video both day and night um and they also have a, a handy feature like the laser rangefinder that's built into the binoculars. So that's really handy in the field as well. Oh, yeah. And, you know, a bunch, a, a, amongst other features that they have, like our big technology where you can pair the binoculars to our smart scopes and, you know, do cool things like have the POI adjusted automatically by that. So, um, yeah, we have different monoculars with different features. You know, we have the slim down version, like the Otis LTs, where it's kind of bare bones. It gives you, you know, it's a good monocular. It's thermal. You have different options in terms of uh, magnification and sensor. Great battery life over 10 hours. Um, you know, very small, handy, fits in the hand well. You scan, you know, what binoculars and monoculars in my mind are, are universal outdoor tools, right? It's not just for hunting. They're great for hunting because you could scout, you you know, great for game retrieval, especially thermal, right? Uh, KJ could attest to that. He's had experience, you know, using monoculars to mm -hmm. find down game and our, our, our pro staff love, you know, thermal monoculars. It helps them, you know, scout and retrieve down game. But if you're thinking about, if you're camping, and you don't know the area, it's a great safety tool, right? You could scan, you could see if there is uh, somebody lurking in the bushes, if there's some kind of animals, like a bear, a wolf, <laughs> a skunk, whatever, right? You know, thermal is great for day, night. You could see through light fog. You could see through, you know, light foliage. And it's, it's a great outdoor tool when you're hiking, you know, when you're camping for safety reasons. You know, you could even do anecdotal things like uh, insulation home auditing with thermal. You could see, look at your walls and see where there's leaks of heat or cold, you know, and use it for those purposes. You know, thermal is used for many um, applications, industrial applications around the world, not just for outdoors and hunting. You know, we think of hunting because we're in this space, but really thermal in the grand scheme of things is used for a lot of different applications uh, on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. But for our purposes, you know, thermal is great for search and rescue. You know, if you're boating, especially in late evenings or at oh, yeah. night, somebody goes overboard, you know, you can't see them. 
to pick up the thermal, you could see them in the water instantaneously, you know, to, to rescue that person. Um, it's countless applications out there for thermal and, but, you know, for hunters, it's great for, you know, finding the game where it's betting, scouting to make sure you're going into that stand and you're not spooking that deer, you know, in uh, pre-dawn hours. Um, you know, it happens a lot when, you know, you, you, you have an area where you hunt and you have, you got the, you know, on a trail cam that, you know, deer usually comes at this time a day to feed whatever this location. So you want to get out there earlier so you can, you know, take the deer ethically from your, from your hunting stand. But sometimes animals change their patterns and you want to make sure that you, you don't lose all that time and effort that you put into the scouting efforts, right? Uh, and have a meat in the freezer that you, you know, have, so, have a tool that you could see the surrounding area and not spook anything you don't want to spook as you're going into the yeah. tree stand. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what are, because this is different for a lot of people, what are a couple of the common concerns that people say, well, I'm not sure about this because what is, what do you hear from people? The unknown, you know, people are afraid because it's new technology and maybe they're not used to it. And of course, budget is a factor because these, these toys are, are I call them toys. Uh, they're not cheap. Right. But, you know, we have, uh, you, you know, they, they present a certain utility and a need, not just a want for uh, outdoorsmen and hunters. And well, you well know, they do we, something that your regular scopes do not do. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's, it's a great thing to have in your tool belt. And that's why, you know, at ATN, we always strive to give the biggest bang for the buck for the customer. We have various models with in different price points that give you various options that you may or may not need, but, you know, you know, give you that option that, Hey, you know, we can always, you know, trade up. We have upgrade programs. If you get into something, you're not happy or you want to get something even better, you know, we give the customer the option to, you know, upgrade that product and not lose it, uh, you know, money really investing in this, you know, these high-end tools. What about batteries? People probably, when, when it comes to anything outdoors, when you think about electronics, batteries seem to always be a concern. Well, uh, you know, the good thing with ATN is uh, we pride ourselves to be uh, industry leaders in our power management systems in our products. You know, we have the longest battery life in our products in the industry. You know, our products, you know, typically range from about from 10 hours to about 18 hours of battery life, depending on the product. And you could charge them in the field with a power bank because, you know, everybody's got cell phones nowadays. Everybody's sure. got these power banks to charge their phone for communication. You know, you always want to have a line of communication when you're outdoors and hunting for safety reasons, of course. So you could always, you know, plug your power bank into one of the prod our products and charge it on the go and still use it if, you know, the battery, in the event the battery goes down, which is unlikely unless you're hunting for extended period, uh, you know, of time, like days upon days, uh, you know, but, you know, we you can have multiple battery packs and charge your 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 gear in the field that's not a problem these days you know? i will say you guys have uh it's come a long way not just um from just in general when you think about even even just 10 years ago of what battery life was and now when you say 10 hours to 18 hours i mean for most people that's that's longer than you're gonna hunt in a particular day but that's a good point. You just plug it into like a little uh, mini USB charger or something like that. I yeah, USB-C charger. And that's continuous runtime. You know, you know, if you're not using it, you could just turn off uh, the device and save the battery life. It probably lasts you longer than your cell phone would anyways, mm -hmm. you know, if, if you're not using it continuously. So there are options. There's great options. There's great features. You know, recording video is great. Everybody loves recording video because you could take that you know, uh, those, uh, that video and bring it back to share with family and friends, you know, share on social media. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, people love doing those things nowadays. There are some products have advanced features like built in laser range finders, like in the binoculars up to a thousand yards, That's as awesome. mentioned, you know, you can, you know, some of our products have Wi-Fi where you can connect it to your smartphone or tablet and see exactly uh, what the person that's using that product see it uh, live stream on your phone or tablets. That's a great feature. So if you have a few hunters together and one doesn't have a smart scope from ATN, but they have a cell phone, 
with one of our apps, you can connect to that product and see exactly what your buddy is looking at through the scope. That's an interesting use case. And also thinking about taking a new shooter or a new hunter out. Now you're yeah. seeing what they're seeing through the scope and whether that is where to hold on an animal or making sure that they're on the correct animal, or it could be target shooting. And then you're kind of seeing what they're seeing, seeing what they're doing perhaps in their movement and, and all that stuff. Um, just a, it's you almost, know, a, you know, that's, that's a, almost that's a, great, a swing coach. Great, he, exactly. You know, I, I've talked to several hunter education coaches and, you know, like range masters and uh, the people, the, the ones that do know our products and have used our products, use that exactly for that scenario. Teach new shooters how to shoot and breathe and squeeze the trigger and, uh, you know, reticle placement on target. Mm -hmm. And hunter education also, you know, how to take the animal cleanly and ethically, where to, you know, where to place the reticle on the target before pulling the trigger because you are responsible for that round that leaves the chamber, right? Uh, once it leaves the rifle. So you want to be sure where it's going to end up basically. So having that feature and being able to coach that new shooter or target shooter on shot placement and how to shoot is a fantastic feature. And I think more uh, people should undertake that and use that feature to learn how to shoot better. Well, you mentioned some, some people might be concerned about the cost, but, and you certainly have very high end thermal that is a, a few thousand dollars, several thousand dollars, but yeah. I mean, there's, there's definitely a bunch of stuff that's attainable and you brought out the whole LT series of, of products that are still, I would, I would call it still like full quality featured, but we've just reduced the number of bells and whistles. But as far as right. the, just the function of looking through a scope and, and having a, a thermal rifle scope, you can go hunting. Like it's, it's good to go Absolutely. and it's not as much money. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, we, you know, that's one of the things we do here at ATN is we listen to our customers. You know, when we launched the Thor 4, we just, you know, we threw everything in it, you know, the kitchen sink, you know, mm -hmm. full featured, you know, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, video recording, ballistic calculator, profile manager, you know, so much in that scope, uh, along with like an incredible battery life of 16 plus hours. Uh, but customers were like, some were intimidated, some were afraid, too much tech, too much stuff to learn, don't want to hassle with it. So, you know, we, the subsequent year, we basically came out with a Thor LT line of products and we trimmed down the offering, the feature offering. It's, a, it's still a thermal scope, you know, it's a fully functional thermal scope. It gives you all the essentials of a thermal scope. You could adjust brightness, contrast thermal sensitivity and the sensor. We have various lens options for, you know, different magnification levels and detection levels. Uh, great battery life, uh, you know, kept some key features like the one shot zero, um, but reduce some of the other features like um, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, some of the complex features that people were mm -hmm. get, kind of was, were telling us they were intimidated by and made a scope that you can basically mount zero, go shoot and hunt that same day, basically. And it's been well received. It's a very popular model, uh, a line of uh, products, uh, the Thor LT series, you know, then the, two years later, I believe, or one year later, we came out with uh, additional uh, improvements on that product by in incorporating a brand new sensor on it to give people better resolution that would like to have a simple scope, but still have, you know, the capability to shoot farther and see better and clearer uh, than the original uh, 160 version. So, um, you know, we listen to our customers all the time and, you know, we take their considerations and suggestions to heart because, you know, without our customers, we're nothing, you know, so it behooves us to, to pay attention. And just uh, before we go, I'm going to just mention, you guys do have some holiday specials going on. I guess the whole month of December, probably. Yeah. Um, and so there's, there are some discounts to be had. Yeah, uh, the Thor LT line, we have up to $500 on select models. Uh, the Otis LT thermal binoculars up to $400 on select models. Uh, we're actually part of the, your high cap giveaway. Today yep. is the day, right? Um, yep. uh, if, uh, 
customers are if this is hitting today on the air i'm not sure if it is but you know participate in a high cap giveaway and get some great prizes from gun talk yeah <laughs> see steve's steve's just one of our hosts now <laughs> awesome well as you guys can kind of hear i think it's really uh there are some neat products um they're hunters over there and and shooters and uh something to check out so steve thanks for being on with us today my pleasure always love to be with you guys all right well that's it for us. We'll see you next time on Gun Talk Nation.